What's going on, Paranormal World? Back with another Ghost Adventure episode review. And this time, this fourth new episode is about the Whitmore Mansion. Now, apparently this mansion is haunted and I really never heard about it. Leave a comment down below if this is your first time hearing about it. But anyway, this is another episode where the family is reaching out for help because they feel like a demonic presence is in their home. And people who have been staying at this Whitmore Mansion has been experiencing a lot of paranormal activity and one guest that was sleeping on the second floor said she couldn't move when she was sleeping and she was in sleep paralysis so while she was in sleep paralysis she seen two male entities approach her and one of the male entities that approached her she said looked like Mr. Whitmore the past owner of the property and apparently Mr. Whitmore had a dark past himself he actually killed a man for stealing some cattle so it's a dark history there at least for him but another thing that a lot of people think that this place is haunted is because of an indian burial ground that's close by the property now i was in and out of the episode during this part i think it was an indian burial ground if not then you know comment down below but if it is an indian burial ground close to that property then that's probably adding fuel to the fire so during the initial walkthrough they pulled out the emf detector and of course it was spiking and then they brought out the sls camera which i thought they brought it out kind of early usually they wait till the actual lockdown to do that but you know they captured a figure on the stairs so once they captured that figure they took some polaroid pictures with the camera and they captured this blue white mist type of stuff and which personally, you know, that's the kind of evidence I love to see because I find that stuff fascinating and it's hard to fake. But um, they also brought in this psychic medium to get more answers. And I don't like when these paranormal shows bring in these psychic mediums. It's almost like they're trying to fill in space for the show. Like it, it's just some filler stuff because all they do is tell us everything we already know about the property because they just went through the back history and then the psychic medium come in and be like oh it's a little girl that was here and she was killed okay we just learned that in the previous five minutes <laughs> so you know that's how i feel about these psychic mediums that be brought into these paranormal shows sometimes they're needed and other times they're not but you know that's just me so the lockdown actually began and a lot of pressure and negative energy is taking over right away, which is actually making Aaron act kind of strange. And it's always around the stairs where all this paranormal activity occurs. And yet again, they use the SLS camera, which captured another figure by the stairs. So after that, then you got Zach wandering around and taunting the ghosts. And shortly after that, Zach captured two figures on a thermal imaging camera. And he was trying to say that these two men, I guess, were the same men that was approaching the lady that was sleeping on the second floor when she was in sleep paralysis. So, you know, I mean, the thermal imaging images, it, it looked okay. I will say that. But, you know, after that, we shift to Aaron and you know Aaron was wandering off and acting strange and he was leaving everyone freaking out <laughs> you know Zach was freaking out um Billy was acting crazy um and Aaron was acting crazy to the point where it seemed like he got possessed at one one point he was like he was bitten and I don't know and then he was standing in the stairway like I keep saying, where a lot of paranormal activity was occurring, and he actually scared Zach. And that's the first time ever I really seen Zach, like, legit scared. So, <laughs> you know, um, that was kind of funny. And Zach, you know, he wasn't acting crazy then. He was, you know, like, hey, <laughs> what's going on here? So, you know, he was genuinely concerned for Aaron this episode. So that was that was good to see. But overall, it was an okay episode, nothing to brag about really, and of course, this is just my opinion. But anyway, what do you all think about this episode? Share your thoughts down below, and if you love any and everything paranormal, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you can see every time I upload. As always, be safe, peace.